A cuticle is the outer layer of a leaf and it has an imprint of the leaf epidermal cells, the stomata also, and that forms sort of a snapshot from the moment that plant lived. So when we dig up very old cuticles, we get a look in the past at that environment at that time. You choose your leaf, which leaf you want to use to answer your research question. And you take it to the lab. You need a very small sample of it because we are going to bleach it. So you cut out a little piece of the leaf. And if the leaf itself is already very small, you need to make sure to cut off the edges because the cuticle is very resistant. And it's made of a biopolymer, sort of a waxy layer, and that prevents the plant from drying out. It also acts as a protection layer against pathogens and it controls the gas exchange. We are very interested in cuticles because we can look at the epidermal cells of the cuticles, at the cell shapes. We also look at the stomata, at the frequency and the distribution of it. And we use that as proxies for CO2 concentration, also for light conditions, for temperature conditions, and for growing season reconstruction. Because of recent climate change and the increasing CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere, we really want to know how it changes not only the plants, but also hydrological cycle and the carbon cycle, because plants play a very important role in that. And then you put it in bleach in a, a test tube and it will bleach out the mesophyll cells and you leave it for 12 to 24 hours. It depends a bit on the leaf, how long it needs. So it's a bit trial and error and different between how thick your leaf is. You get this white see-through sample. Then you rinse it with water to get the bleach out again. Angiosperms, gymnosperms and ferns have very different shapes of their epidermal cells. You can also determine the species based on the shape of their epidermal cells. Then you put it in a, a plate or an hourglass to rinse it through the water. You get some tweezers and you will separate uh, basically the, the upper side and the lower side of the leaf. You need to decide where the stomata are. It, it needs some practice, but then when you have them separated, you need to check if you have the right leaf side. So you put it on a, a glass slide, cover it with a cover, and then you check under the microscope if you have the, the right part that you want. And if you have the right one, you take it back to your table. Uh, you remove the cover and then you can stain your sample. For example, in saffronin, which is a pink red uh, coloration and it will increase the contrast. So you get better view of the stomata and the epidermal cell boundaries. So you stain it and you put it back on your slide and you uh, remove excess water. But you want to keep it a little bit moist, so don't remove all the water. And then you cut off a tiny cube of glycerin and you put it right on top of your sample. And in the meantime, 
you heat up a, a hot plate. You can also use a burner, but that's more difficult. So I would recommend a hot plate. And you put it on the plate and then the, the glycerin will melt over your sample. And when it's finished, you take it back and you cover it with a, another cover glass and you wait for it to cool down, which goes pretty fast. And then you can check it again under your microscope. It's fixated, so you can't change it anymore. So yeah, then your slide is uh, finished.